when disaster strikes, it puts people's lives on the line. We see wrecked homes and flooded roads, fallen trees and power lines, stunned people fleeing devastated places. The rest of us rush to donate whatever might help, money, food, blankets, tents. Aid groups and governments put rescue and recovery plans into action. Donations and plans are good, but one more thing is needed. Information. The right information helps aid groups and governments act smarter and faster. It lets first responders execute the right plan in the right place. It allows coordination that turns good intentions into results. In September 2017, Hurricane Irma struck the Caribbean islands. It was a Category 5 storm with winds of up to 280 miles per hour that destroyed hundreds of thousands of homes and leveled tourist hotels. Power and communications networks collapsed. Roads, bridges and hospitals were heavily damaged. It was one of the worst storms in Caribbean history until just two weeks later when another Category 5 storm, Hurricane Maria, blasted through the region and leveled Dominica and Puerto Rico. How do you deal with an emergency like that? You get answers fast. Where do people need help? Which roads are open? What infrastructure still stands? Where are food and medical care most needed? The United Nations World Food Program is the lead agency of the Emergency Telecommunications Cluster. Responding to the disaster, it requested support from emergency.lu. That's a public-private partnership between the government of Luxembourg and three companies, SES, High Tech Luxembourg, and Luxembourg Air Ambulance. Emergency.lu includes a quickly deployable satellite-based communications platform. It puts systems on the ground and bandwidth in the sky to re-establish communications for emergency responders. Luxembourg provides the satellite-based service as a free public good to the humanitarian community worldwide. In St. Martin, Irma heavily damaged the international airport and created a choke point for incoming relief. Civil protection volunteers from Luxembourg set up an emergency.lu rapid deployment kit there, an inflatable satellite antenna that can fit in airline luggage and be deployed in 30 minutes. An SES satellite providing C-band capacity gave first responders a vital link to the world, and the airport soon returned to operations. In Dominica, Hurricane Maria caused an estimated billion dollars worth of damage. To manage island-wide relief efforts, Emergency.lu set up antennas at two humanitarian coordination centers on the east and west coasts of the island. Relief workers gained voice, email, and internet connections to share data on where people needed help and what was needed most. They reported on roads that were closed to help others find a way around. They shared pictures taken by satellite that let rescuers map the damage, estimate needs, and target relief efforts. For the next four months, Emergency.lu backed up local government and international agencies in their recovery work. Satellite made it possible for decisions made in capital cities and faraway offices to be executed in the field. When disaster strikes, making sure that help reaches those in need takes more than compassion. It takes real-time information and the ability to reliably connect anywhere, anytime, that only satellite can bring. Satellite, the world's invisible, indispensable technology. Brought to you by Space and Satellite Professionals International with the support of emergency.lu. Additional support provided by GovSat, Hughes Network Systems, and Speedcast Government.